Hello everyone. A welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about synchronization in UFT. What is synchronization? Let me explain with an example. Let's take Indian Railway website. You have entered the train details and search for the availability. Can you tell how long the website takes to display the availability? No one knows because the page may load in one second or sometimes 10 seconds or in the worst case the page may not load completely. The reason behind this because it may depends on various factors such as the application server response time, network bandwidth, our system capabilities, many reasons. If the time is varying then the script will fail unless the tester handles these time difference intelligently. We have some ways to achieve it. Before that let us see the definition of it for interview purpose. Synchronization is nothing but the time interface between tool that is UFT and the application under test. It is a feature to specify delay time between one step and the another step in the test script. Uh, in order to achieve the synchronization we have uh, some methods as mentioned in our PPT. We will see uh, each one with an example. The first synchronization way is wait statement. When we want UFT to wait for the specified time we have to use the wait statement. Uh, it is like passing the run script for the given amount of time. I will uh, mention the wait statement between each page navigation. You can see here I have added 10 second wait between each page navigation. Now I am going to run this. F5 shortcut key just run it. So the train between important station operation is performed. It is waiting for 10 seconds. Now it will, it will click on get full fare after 10 seconds. Once this page is loaded, it will wait for 10 more seconds. So the result file is generated. So you can see here the each link is clicked. So by seeing this, we can come to a conclusion that even the page is loaded, the UFT will wait for 10 seconds. So it will affect the overall execution time because it is the odd coded synchronization point. So wait is not considered as a good coding practice. Now we will see the second option exist. I'm going to implement exist for each page navigation. What I am going to do is if this object is exist in between this we have to give how many seconds it should wait here if I give 10 seconds like wait statement once if the statement or if this object is exist then it will perform the action as per the condition so from here you can understand one thing that I have included dot exist statement with 10 seconds for the first link object and uh, 10 more seconds for the get details uh, web button and 50 seconds for the get full fair web button. I will execute and show you now how the script will work. I am running it so it clicks on the now you can see the difference the script executed the action is performed in a very faster way so exist is a method that takes the timeout value as input to perform the sync operation it is a dynamic weight hence it is the best option why it is best because consider the first condition by clicking on train between important the page is loaded just in 2 seconds but the script didn't wait for 10 seconds the action is performed in case if we have used wait 
10 seconds the script will wait for 10 seconds whether the page is loaded or not then it will perform the action so now you can imagine how good it will improve our execution time so try to use exist synchronization method instead of wait and a wait is the hard coded value which is not recommended now we will see the third one and third synchronization option is sync s y n c it will wait for the browser to complete the current navigation you no need to mention any seconds this method can be used only for the web based application where there is a lag between page loads now i will show you an example i have include sync option between each page navigation previous example i have mentioned 10 second or 50 second in case if we are not clear how many second it will take to page to create loaded means the another best option is dot sync this sync what it will do is once the objects in the page is fully loaded then the next step will be executed the advantage of this is we no need to worry about how long the page will get loaded since here the page is uh, common so i have used uh, same code between each page navigation now i will execute and show it just run it so click on this thing between no station then the script is executed successfully so that is an advantage of using sync and it is used only for the web based application always remember this the fourth way to implement the synchronization is by using the wait property now what i am going to do is i am going to wait for a particular property it gets loaded copy that line dot wait property if you see here it will automatically show you the parameters property name property value and the how many again it should wait so from the or i have to wait for the name property and this is the value so name is the property and the value is get details it should wait for 30 seconds the third parameter mentioned as micro seconds same way we will include code for the get full fare now we will execute and the action is performed and this is also another good practice uh, we can implement the synchronization these are all the four important ways or method in which we can implement the synchronization the first one is wait we have to give with the second second one is exist with the second and third one is sync fourth one is wait property so these are all the four ways in which we can implement the synchronization from the ppt we have covered the exist method wait method synchronization method and uh, wait property method there is a one way inserting qtp inbuilt synchronization point this will be done only during the recording mode uh, which we never use it anyhow um, at the end of this tutorial i will post one more video on record and playback methods at the time i will uh, show you how to insert inbuilt synchronization point that's the end of the today's session if you have any clarification please post your queries thanks for watching have a great day